This news update is brought to you by AgroFest 2014, encouraging entrepreneurship through innovative agriculture. Box offices, the Barbados Agricultural Society, Cave Shepherd Broad Street, all Supercenter stores, the Costa Manning stores, Fontabel, Warren, Spearhead, and Sheraton. Clear Vision Optical, 11 Pine Road, Belleville in St. Michael. Roberts Manufacturing Feed Store, Laura Estate in St. George. Waterworld Pet Shop, Jordan's Complex, Spitestown in St. Peter. Barbados Biggest Exhibition and Getting Bigger. Be there. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Thursday, February the 20th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. A tourism development specialist is advising Barbados to push for more brand name hotels. Luther Miller, a former director of finance at the Caribbean Tourism Organization, says the indigenous properties are not enough to position Barbados as the island of first choice for tourists. He says this push should be twinned with a more aggressive marketing campaign. That is a challenge that I know the ministry, the ministry in conjunction with the tourist board, the ministry, the tourist board in conjunction with the BTII, or some department of government, to have a concerted effort seeking to identify one, what do these players need, two, how can we best attract them to Barbados, and so on and so forth. But we have to now we can say to them, look, government owns the land around the Hilton Hotel. We should sell that the idea that we want to create a cluster of hotels there with meeting rooms and meeting facilities and the same kinds of incentives that they gave to Amman, which won't kick in until about three, four years down the road. We, we, we may have to offer them some level of incentive to get them here. And staying with tourism, international economist Dr. Fred Bergsten is suggesting that Barbados tap into the Chinese market. He says China, which is probably the world's largest economy, has tremendous tourism potential and Barbados should consider developing new strategies such as partnering with other regional states to offer package deals to nationals of the Asian country. Dr. Bernstead made the comments during last night's inaugural Caribbean Economic Forum hosted by the Central Bank of Barbados. Barbados' latest centenarian, Yuna Elise Callender, spent Thursday morning doing what she loves best, reciting poems and singing gospel songs. Her Leadville Christ Church home was filled to capacity as family and friends, as well as Governor General Sir Elliot Belgrave, joined her in celebrating the milestone. Aside from her love for poems and singing, family members say Calendar, who still enjoys good health, spends her days preaching and praying. Not only for Tony, she won't pass it for Tony, she's happy forevermore. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. In the region, the Trinidad and Tobago cabinet has rejected proposed salary increases for members of parliament. It says it's not the right time given the economic challenges of the country. In spite of this, the cabinet has agreed to implement other increases suggesting, suggested by the Salaries Review Commission, such as exemption of import duties, VAT and motor vehicle taxes. Internationally, the governor of Nigeria's central bank has been suspended over the disappearance of 20 billion US dollars in oil revenue. The president says the missing funds point to financial recklessness and misconduct. Nigeria's state oil firm has denied failing to account for the money, saying the claim was unsubstantiated. And European Union foreign ministers have agreed to impose sanctions on Ukrainian officials as a matter of urgency. 
They say officials responsible for violence and excessive force will face visa bans and have their assets frozen. The U.S. State Department had already announced visa bans on 20 unnamed members of the Ukrainian government. Now that's the 6 p.m. update. Join us again at 7 in the morning. Until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. The Business Minute is brought to you by... To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking, on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Sydney to be sure. The world will be yours. Take you to exceptional, incredible new heights. And get set for Signia. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is the Barbados Today Business Minute for Thursday, February 20th, 2014. I'm Vic Fernandes. A prominent hotelier is worried the temporary closure of Sandals Barbados will lead to a significant drop in visitor arrivals to the island. Sandals Resorts International recently announced that Sandals Barbados will be closed from April 1st for eight months to undergo a 65 million US dollar upgrade. But Adrian Loveridge says the closure of the Christchurch property could lead to a decline in valuable airline seats and harm the tourist product. Royal Bank of Canada won't be closing any of its branches anytime soon. CEO for Caribbean Banking, Suresh Suku, and Trinidad and Tobago Managing Director Daryl White said in a joint statement that it has no such plan, though the bank is restructuring its operations. Barbadian manufacturers and service providers are being told to invest more time and effort into laying the groundwork for exporting to the region. Managing Director of CILC Action Coach Ian Blanchard says businesses should be more innovative, carry out careful planning, and deliver consistent products and service. And now for today's financial tip. Having money in savings for use for emergencies can really keep you out of trouble financially and help you sleep better at night. Also, if you get into the habit of saving money and treating it as a non-negotiable monthly expense, Pretty soon, you'll have more than just emergency money saved up. That was the Barbados Today Business Minute. I'm Vic Fernandes. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.